All right, it's June 4th, and I got Mom with me. This is Vela, and uh, she's got her colors a little bit muted, and her eye caps are a little bit gray. So this lets me know she's going to shed in about two or three days from now. But yeah, June 4th, so that means we are 18 days. This is day 18 into the incubation process. If we count May 18th as day one, the first day that the eggs were laid, well, it wasn't a full day, still, if that's day one, then this is day 18. I've done some research on the incubation process, and we're looking at somewhere between 55 to 60 days. So we're about 30% uh, of the way through. So I wanted to give you an update, so that way it was clear as to where things stand. Some people have also asked, you know, how are they doing? And uh, one of the eggs, the one that Vela had pushed out of the way, Apparently that's called rolling the egg. The egg that Vela rolled is uh, it's pretty much a goner. Now, when I looked at the eggs as the days have gone by, there's been some depression, some sunkenness in to all of the eggs just about. And at first I was kind of worried about this, but from watching other videos of ball python eggs hatching, I've seen many eggs where they just have this sunken inness by the time they go to hatch, so I don't think that that was a cause for concern. I've never done this before, so I was at first, but it seems like that's just fine. It seems normal. However, the one that Vela pushed to the side started to get really sunken in, and then in addition to that, started to have some discoloration, started to look pretty green in some spots, a little bit brown, and then there was also mold growing on that one. And I'm not exactly sure why the mold grows on the ones that go bad, but also, it's not a clear indicator that it has gone bad. I've seen some pictures online, too, of plenty of very, very nasty-looking eggs hatching out perfectly healthy pythons. Um, not necessarily ball pythons, but still, the, the mold isn't a clear indicator. But I decided it was time to test that bad egg because it was looking pretty awful. And so here's some footage from that. Still veins in there. These ones still look like they're doing just fine. Oh, lots of veins. That's a good shot. Yes. Very viable. Still healthy. Even though we've got some of those depressions there. Plenty of veins in this one. Yep, veins in this one as well. These are all doing great. Okay. This guy, not so much. Take him out for further testing. Let's test this guy out. Not looking promising. No real veins anymore. Yeah. It's not a vein either, that's a fold in the egg. I'm not seeing any evidence that this is still, still working out. Put it right behind there. I see a little bit of red right there, and that's the only place I'm seeing any red. It's a bummer. Sorry, dude. All right, one gone, but the good news is that the other four do appear very healthy. Another important thing to note, kind of a giveaway, is that there isn't even room in this egg anymore for a snake to be developing. So it's it's sunken in enough yeah better to remove it and I think we can say clear-cut case this one did not work out now as you can see with the other four eggs those ones still have veins clear as day I can easily see that life is still happening inside of there so I'm not worried about them and it's a bummer about the other egg that got rolled out but there is still some cool science there to think about. It's interesting to, to wonder, and the question comes to my mind, did the egg fail because mom rolled it out? Maybe it was just an accident of her movement to push it away from the rest, 
and there was that day and a half there that I was scrambling to set up my incubation. And during that day and a half of not having mom naturally incubate it, is that will cause the major difference and, and allow this one egg to not be able to make it. The other question certainly that comes to mind is, did mom somehow know that uh, the egg had something wrong with it and that's why she pushed it away? That's certainly a possibility too. I don't have the answer for you and I've been looking and I don't know that I've I haven't found any good answer to that either, so it's an interesting question. If anybody has any information on that, I'd love to hear it in the comments section. And the other silver lining of this egg going bad is that it is also showing me that the other eggs aren't. I mean, they're not following the same pattern. They seem healthy. Temperature has been kept at the 88 to 89 sweet spot. Humidity has been 80%, somewhere between 80 and 85%. And that's a good humidity for it, so I think we are on the right track. And I want to also thank um, Megan of Double M Reptiles. She, uh, she came to my assistance with answering some questions through Twitter that I had, and that's really helped out. And then also a big thank you to Jason Bogut and definitely just Proust Pets for being there, helping me out with this process, giving me some good information and some incubation tips. Now I've heard some things also about counting chickens and when you're supposed to do that. And I'm pretty sure the same advice applies to python eggs. So I don't really want to get too presumptive that everything's going to work out. At the same time, I can predict if it does. There's going to be some other updates about something called um, cutting the egg and whether or not I'm going to choose to do that. So I'll have to explore that a little bit more and keep you guys posted. You had enough action? I think so. This is Rich Lund and Vela. Signing out.